the most spectacular and scenic venue in all of college football and perhaps in all of sports. The Rose Bowl in Pasadena, also home to the UCLA Bruins. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the UCLA Bruins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Bruins will kick it off to get us underway. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the USC Trojans offense will take the first swing of the game. The battle for Los Angeles. Two spectacular uniforms. Awesome backdrop and the battle for the victory bell, guys. I was going to say, Reese, aesthetically, this is one of my favorite games of the year. I love when both schools wear their home unis and they're traditional. They haven't changed very much over the years. This game's just fun to watch in every sense of the word. Fun for the fans, too, because they don't have to go anywhere. And you know what else is always cool? You tune in this game late in the season. What do you get? Great weather, too. I mean, it's really, it makes me jealous every year watching this football game. Now on the option, he'll toss it. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. All things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement of play. So UCLA's offense will go to work for the first time. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. The Bruins in the hurry up. Historically, the Trojans have been the powerhouse in this rivalry, but last season it was UCLA in a blowout. And that is not something USC is accustomed to. They want to own this rivalry. They think they own UCLA. They will have some extra fire behind them today. Yeah, and that UCLA blowout last year really helped the Bruins in recruiting, too. Remember, these two schools, they recruit the same kids here in Los Angeles, in the state of California, and nationally as well. It would be massive if UCLA could beat USC again and make it back-to-back. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll move it back, and it's first and 15 for this offense. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And now on second down for this offense. Running back searching for a hole. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They're trying to get to it. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. And the Bruins will send out the punt unit. Well, it's third and short. They're throwing for it. They just can't come up with that one. Setting up a big decision now for the head coach on fourth down. 
They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. From the gun, the running back looking for room. The Trojans will move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. This crosstown rivalry dates back nearly 100 years, guys. The first meeting between the Trojans and the Bruins back in 1929. And every year since, you know, one thing you know, Jesse, is the uniforms are crisp. They are clean. They are so sweet. You know this game means a lot late in the season every year. This is definitely my favorite uniform game of the year every year in college football, right? Both USC and UCLA with the home unis here in this great environment. But the game also means so much as well. And that's why there's this heightened sense of electricity and energy every time these two teams play. Fair catch was called for, but there is a flag on the play, and we'll have to sort it out. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the oh, kicker. Kick. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They go to the ground. Powers through the defender. The victory bell is not some manufactured, concocted trophy, guys. This thing actually used to be on a train. That is so cool. And the origins of the story of all these rivalries and the trophies, Jesse, it's so cool. It's fun to find out about. And these guys out here are learning on the job about it. Yeah, it's just really such a point of pride, the victory bell. Not just here in the city of Los Angeles, but to these kids, there's just a different energy in this game. Going up top on first down. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. And the Trojans want to pick up the tempo. Best uniforms in the sport, and a play is made befitting of those threats. Well, this is not the format to have a debate back and forth. Not the best uniform in sports, but definitely always a lot of flash and sizzle with USC offenses. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. The Trojans are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Looking for a man. It's Moss. Quickly complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Trying to punch it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans! And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing it at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. He'll start the return inside his spot. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. UCLA will go back to work on offense. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punt off there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And that's why you do explosive work in the weight room. Arm day's a good thing as he gets it to the 23. Quarterback on the keeper. And the 
defense jumps on him. They get that turnover. He pulled it and kept it on the option, but he couldn't keep it away from the defense. I think the QB made the right decision not to pitch it. He needs to do a better job with ball security. The defense, they were able to get and swarm to him quickly and dislodge the football from his body. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Back to pass, it's Moss. A little screen to the running back. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. UCLA, zero. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Number 45 in punt formation to kick it away. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to pass, it's Moss. Wide open downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. Fires to the wideout. Touchdown, USC! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. 
These two have spent plenty of time together. That was almost telepathic, David. No doubt, and quarterbacks and wide receivers throw all offseason to get on the same page. You can see he hits him in stride. That's why he gets the touchdown. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Bruins will punt this one away. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you, know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground. Quick, fast, and in. Line gets set. First down. Going to run it. It's O'Neal. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He'll keep it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. No, oh, no good. After the missed field goal, hey, could be worse. They're still up by 21. is back on the field ready to go to work they just haven't been able to get anything going and they better get started or it's going to get away from them david yeah and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game and you could just reset the console start over jesse and make something better happen early it just looked like they're sleepwalking in this first half and it's not just one guy they, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. And the Bruins want to move quickly. Really nice looking pass. When I think back to the history of UCLA quarterbacks, I think about guys carving up defenses in the Rose Bowl in the perfect weather conditions with the gorgeous San Gabriel Mountains as a backdrop. And this guy right here, man, he's lighting defenses up this season, throwing it too. And in this game, he seems like he's dialed in. And Chuck plays on the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of delay game. game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Looking to pass. It's Garbers. Works the middle of the field. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. 
Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zone. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. I love the awareness by the defense here. Everyone thinking first down, down close to the goal line, the offense is going to run the football, right? But this defense was ready for the chance that the offense might throw it. So defenders playing the pass and getting upfield, getting to the QB. Awesome job. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Got his man quickly. And they'll stop him inside the five, but the defense is backed up in the shadow of its own goal post. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Good right down the boulevard. There is a flag down on the play. Now, if this is on the defense, the offense will have to decide whether to take the points off the board. You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty is going to give the offense a first down. They're going to run it. And they can't punch it in with a first down run. And the defense has one stop. And the D deny them on second and goal. Quick pass on the fly motion. In to the house. Touchdown, UCLA. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Ready to try the point after. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. USA, 21, UCLA, 7. Here he comes from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Finds his man. It's Branch. He's brought down solid. Pick up on a little bit short of the first down. Set up for second and short after that completion. Gets it out quickly. Oh, what a move! And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boosters. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. Looking to throw its moss. Fires to the middle. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. No, oh, he got loose. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They're going to throw it again. Grabbed over the middle. It's Robinson. Makes a catch and knocked down. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Throws for the tight end. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Let's it fly. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Man, that is so good. There's not a lot of room to work over there on the sideline in the end zone, but he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better than that. They'll try to add another to their lead.
And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up? catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. He hurls one deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. The Bruins decide to punt it away. Oh, what a move! Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. First play of the drive comes from the 38. They'll throw it on first down. Release to the back. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. They'll run play action. Right down the middle. Got his man downfield. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. This will likely be the last play of the half. Looking downfield, it's Moss. He's taking the shot. He makes a grab. They will score. Touchdown, Trojans. My goodness, he is putting on a laser show right now. Liner, Palmer, Pat Hayden, Marinovich, you name it. These guys are going to be looking up at this dude. Just spinning the bean all over the yard. That's why you come to USC. Those names you mentioned, and you know... That ball's going to be in your hands. You get to go make plays, and he is doing exactly that. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Trying to set the tone with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Hand off from the shotgun. He is not afraid to use that stiff arm as a weapon as he bangs his way to the 28. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the Bruins will call on their punt team. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. Power football with the run. And after a successful run like that on first down, if you're the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're thinking about being aggressive and potentially taking a shot. Because even if it's incomplete now on second, you only have a short amount of yards to go here on third. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Trying to pick up a first down. 
It'll be a run on third and short. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And the Trojans with the first and ten. And that's good enough for a first down. Red pass hits complete. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. The Trojans have their offense in high gear. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Sixth play of the drive coming up. To the air, it's Moss. He finds his man. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. To the ground with the back. Got the first down and still on his feet. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They'll go to the ground. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They'll run it on first and goal. And they're finally able to get him on the ground at the one. A very productive play on first down has now set us up with this second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, Southern Cal! And the stomping has commenced. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time in this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And the point after is good. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking for a man, it's Garbers. Got his man on the right. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. New set of downs after that completion. To the air on first down. Going to take a shot at this DB. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? Second and ten after the previous play. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Unloads to the wide out. Got his man. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. The new set of downs after the completion. That is a time-honored way to slow down the rush 
Hit him with the screen and a chunk play. Yeah, such a great job because you're flying up the field to get to the quarterback because everything looks like pass down the field. Let those guys get up the field, throw it right behind him. He does a little bit of the rest, making some moves, getting up field, making the big play. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll go to the air on third and short. He's got the tight end. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. The Bruins come to the line with a new set of downs. They keep attacking through the air. He caught it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Little touch pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Back to throw. It's Garbers. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. And they're going to head out the lineup for a field goal. It's good. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain climb. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Prime inside the 10. Here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Hold it, hold it, hold up and up and They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Out of the gun, looking to throw. The short hands, it's Jordan. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. This quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Third down coming. They'll try to run for it. Jukes his way for more. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. And the Trojans are moving quickly down the field. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Leaves it with the back. He stopped at the 32, picks up 10 on the play, and gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Offense has a huge lead right now in the fourth quarter, and they're just going to run this football to try to ice the game, being more dominant, being more physical at the point of attack. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. The give to the tailback. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to throw, it's Moss. It's caught downfield. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. 
Well, this offense has just been dialing up explosive play after explosive play. That's a big part of why they have a huge lead at this point. And even in the fourth quarter with that lead, they are still taking shots. They are still being aggressive. Pedal to the metal. The Trojans have it with a first and goal. They'll try to slam it in. Touchdown, USC! And the route is on. USC stretches out that lead and not too far in the distance. They're starting to imagine the tones of the victory bell. And USC has so much tradition, so much history, but they start every season. Jesse, they want this one. They want to make sure they beat their rival in L.A. Yeah, you could tell, too, talking to them before this game, they knew how important it was going to be to play well in the second half. They had to have energy. They had to execute. And right now, they're getting ready to chant, fight on at the end of this game. And the extra point is good. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. UCLA will go back to work on offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. They'll try to find a more productive play this time on second and long from the 14. The back goes in motion. To throw, it's Garbers. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Good timing on the quick out. And the Bruins will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. From the gun, running back gets the gift. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Trying play action. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They got him free for a big gator down to the 43. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the scoreboard. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking. Paul. They're just imposing their will, Dave. And that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement. And it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth game. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. I don't know if they're trying to get this guy Heisman consideration, but the fact that they're still throwing the ball at this point of the game with a lead like they have is surprising, I gotta be honest. They keep pushing forward, now back to work on second and goal from the six. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to dream. And they're going to score again, yet another touchdown as they just add their total. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day, and apparently their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead.
The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A 69-yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. They're setting up the screen. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beat down. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Looking to throw it again. Fires left. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Makes the catch. It's Sturdivant. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Pressure coming. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught for a touchdown. They're going to play this one through to the end, but this is pretty much window dressing. A nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Splits those uprights right in half. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 56, UCLA, 17. Here's the return from inside his 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too. Bill. They had a really good game plan coming into this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and to keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. 